set and the pieces are moving. Um, great line. Well, uh, God is in charge and everything is in his orchestration. Okay, The board is set and the pieces are moving. Um, God is in charge. Um, isn't it like God does everything? Think about all the individual cells in my body and how all of them operate and function with incredible little micro designs on the inside of them perfectly conducting themselves by whose hand? God's hand. It's like Jesus said, if you guys, Jesus is God, he's like, if you guys aren't in charge of any of that, he's like, why do you even worry about anything? <laughs> he's like, if God <laughs> takes care of 99.9% of all the activity inside of your body to keep you happy and healthy, it's like, why don't you just give him the whole story? <laughs> And just thank him and praise him with every speck of your being. It's that good, okay? So, um, God's in control. He's awesome. Um, there's no dream in the human mind that God can't surpass and won't surpass if the heart is pleasing to him. Done. I can dream a lot of amazing things. And God's higher than all of them. Done. It's pretty amazing uh, and pretty awesome, okay? So, hope is astronomical. Hope is like the twin of expectation. It's like, once you know how insanely good God is, your entire breathing existence is nothing but pure expectation. It's just like, I've dreamed great dreams, but they're not even close to what's going to happen. <laughs> because God is infinitely higher than my brain. So, it's just this unrolling scroll of expectation, okay? Uh, that's going to be surpassed in my lifetime. That's God with me, and that's God with you if your heart is right in Christ. Whoa. It's like the surpassing of all human thoughts and dreams is thine in Christ. Because it has to be. All things are yours, the Bible says in Christ. And yet, God is smarter than us. He's cooler than us. And his dreams are better than ours. Okay, um, so there's the cat's meow. We think something should happen in a certain timing. God knows better. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. You know, it's like a, it's like a, a bunch of kids around the genius dad. You know, God is like the super genius, and all the kids are like, this should happen. This should happen. This, dad, isn't this a great dad? Dad, we should do this. Dad, isn't this a great idea? Wouldn't this, wouldn't this be awesome? He's like, no, 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 no. Trust me, kids. I got a way better idea. And the kids are like, what is it? What is it? Tell us what it is. And he's like, I'm not going to tell you all of it at once. Because that would ruin the infinite ecstasy of the outplay of your life. <sighs> and the incredible joy of surprise that I just keep unrolling with you. Okay? So, um, it's fascinating to meditate I encourage you to actually chew on God's design of surprise. The word surprise, it starts with father. In fact, it contains a glaring double father, S-U-R and the P-R-E-S, two very famous combos for father. But overall, it's it's huge for joy. It's 125. Five times five times five, joy, joy, half a joy. The joy of surprise ending in E, which is five. Okay. Done. I've already, you know, it's the same number as free spirit, the joy of a free spirit. Okay. Um... But I encourage you, because I'm, I'm going to do this more myself. I'm like, why surprise? Why surprise? Why, why does God uh, withhold knowledge from us about the future for our higher joy? Whoa. Isn't that amazing? It's because we don't need to know. We're not supposed to know. But, man. So surprise is joy, joy, half a joy. 125. You can slow down and squeeze all the fives out of it per letter if you want to. Surprise, five times five times five, joy, joy, half a joy, okay? Um, so God has ordained every human for all time to a, a total existence of surprise. I wouldn't be surprised if heaven was an infinity of unleashed surprise. There's a chance we might know everything at all times, but there's also a very good chance we won't, and that God in his infinite nature will still 
relate to us with this ecstasy of surprise where we never know the whole future because God delights in surprise. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, well, that's one to chew on. That's a really good one to chew on. Okay. Um, why is surprise such a joy to us? You can chew on that one for homework. That is a delightful thought to chew on. Between you and me, I, this was a while ago, I, um, just being honest, you know, you can ask God any question that you want and expect him to answer. So I said, God, what's your favorite thing to do? And the first thought that came to my mind was surprise the socks off people. It does make sense to me because that is what God has done for all of us our entire lives long. Um, and um, I love to have the socks surprised off me as long as it's pleasant surprise. Um, and that is who God is. Um, you know, this is what every story that pleases us in the Bible and, you know, any story, oh, a happy ending. We had that word come to us from the Lord. The, the letters a happy ending are screamingly fives. It divides by five. It has fives at the center. I believe the Y-E. The Lord spoke to me the joy of a happy ending. Okay, now I believe you live one day at a time. And so you always make sure that your day to day has a happy ending. I've had the Lord do this like crazy in my life, where it's like every day now, like today, must have a happy ending. Do whatever you need to do, okay, to make sure that today has a happy ending, as happy as you can make it, okay, because you are called and allowed to live only for today, only one day at a time, okay. Um, well, there you go. Um, but... Um, God's joy in surprising us. I would say that this is one of the most important messages of hope and expectation that you can preach to every human for all time is God's delight in surprising all of us in the perfect timing. The whole world could be freaked out. Everything could look insane. And yet, God has a delightful surprise for you in Christ, okay? Um, if your heart is right, you're striving to please him, you're trying, okay, to live um, a pure Christian life, okay, um, in incredible personal relationship with God, um, the, the surprises will be astronomical and totally satisfying for you. Um, they will be unique to you compared to other people because God is infinite in his creativity he can't stop inventing ideas he can't stop dreaming up new ways to bless the socks off people in unique ways that he'll never repeat again God is gonna God is gonna surprise me with things that only happen once and they only happen to me in history and it's the same thing for you it's his insane, infinite creativity. He's like, it wasn't enough for me to just have billions of people in history and never stop doing unique surprises. He's like, I have to keep doing this for eternity because of who I am. Infinite in imagination, infinite in creativity, infinite in ideas to surprise the socks off you. In pleasant ways. So I encourage you, I exhort you today to get your expectation up, okay, and to believe, okay, in, um, in God surprising you tonight. You just go out and do the happiest, uh, most blessed thing that you know how to do and invite God, rather expect God, to take you higher. God has ways. God can send an angel in front of your path with some present in his hand. Okay? He knows how to do that. <laughs> he knows how to do that. Um, so, 
So delight yourself in him and meditate on this God of surprise. Expect, expect great things from God. Absolutely expect your dreams to be surpassed by a factor of infinity. By a factor of infinity. Expect to be surprised by God. Expect to be blown away by God. Expect the unexpected that is supremely awesome. That's the state of the God lover. Ooh, that's good. Hallelujah.